What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you some vehicles that were once discontinued that should be brought back. Let's get right into this. So we are seeing it more and more in today's market that vehicles are making returns. And the main reason for this is for car manufacturers like Ford, Chevy, and Dodge, they are discontinuing passenger cars. So they are bringing back a lot of the former discontinued vehicles like their SUVs and trucks. The main reason they're bringing back these vehicles is because it is cheaper for them to market the vehicles from the past because people already know the names rather than come up with a new name for new vehicles and trying to market that. So for this video, I have a small list of vehicles that should be brought back. Let's just get started here. Up first is the Hummer. The Hummer was first originally a military vehicle, but due to Arnold Schwarzenegger loving the vehicle while he was on a movie set, he really wanted a Hummer. The manufacturer decided to make Arnold Schwarzenegger a civilian version of the Hummer, but due to the success and the popularity of Arnold Schwarzenegger at the time, the public also started to demand civilian versions of this vehicle. The manufacturer started to make the Hummer H1 model, which was a very large SUV off-road vehicle. If you had a Hummer at the time, it meant you had the status of having a lot of money. GM ended up purchasing the rights to the Hummer brand and ended up making the H2 model, which was slightly smaller than the original H1. However, it 100% resembled the Hummer. It looked just like the original did, just more as a civilian version of it. GM ended up making the H3 model, which was slightly smaller than any of the other Hummers from the past and it still slightly resembled the Hummer, except it was very small and very much more of a regular SUV vehicle. Back in 2009, GM went bankrupt, and in 2010, they decided to discontinue the Hummer. Not only were people not purchasing the Hummer due to the company going bankrupt, but also due to the price of gas going skyrocket. I feel like if they are ever going to bring back the Hummer, they're going to have to make a fuel economy version, something that is not a gas guzzler like the original Hummers were. It is rumored right now that in 2022, the Hummer is going to make a return under the GMC brand. So it's going to be more like a GMC Hummer, and it's going to be more of a truck style vehicle. It is also rumored right now that it is going to be an electric vehicle, which I feel like with more and more car manufacturers going electric these days, I feel like it is going to take off and it's going to be competition with people like Tesla. However, I just don't know how I feel of having a Hummer that is electric in 2022. I just don't know how I feel about it. I feel like they, if they're going to make an electric version, they should also make a gas version, but something that is not a gas guzzler. And I think that would be very successful if they were to go that route. The next vehicle is a Chevy Chevelle. The Chevelle was originally discontinued in 1977, and I just don't see why they discontinued this vehicle. It is one of the iconic muscle cars from the 70s, and they just never introduced it once again. We've seen Chevy do this before with the Pontiac Firebird after the Pontiac brand was discontinued. They basically took that year's Camaro and put the Firebird's emblems on it and changed some of the body panels to resemble the Firebird a little bit more. I feel like if they're gonna bring back the Chevy Chevelle in any way, even if it's only as a tribute vehicle and a sub model for that year, I feel like they're just going to take a Chevy Camaro and they're going to put the Chevelle emblem on it and possibly take a couple of the body panels and make them look a little bit more like the Chevy Chevelle was, so it's a little bit more resembling of it. I honestly feel if they are going to do this as a tribute, they are still going to make the money from it and people are absolutely going to love this vehicle if they were to do so. Next is going to be a Dodge Magnum station wagon, which I was a huge fan of back in the day. Now it discontinued in 2008, but because car manufacturers are discontinuing passenger vehicles nowadays, I feel like to bring back a station wagon might be the next best thing because a lot of people are purchasing SUVs because of all of the space inside the vehicle and a station wagon is going to have more room for passengers and more space in it. So I feel like it would be a little bit more successful than passenger cars are. I honestly hope they bring back the Dodge Magnum because it didn't look too bad, but if they're going to make a new version of it, I think it would look amazing on the road. Next is going to be the Chevy El Camino which was discontinued in 1987. Just like I said for the Chevy Chevelle, I feel like if Chev were to bring back the El Camino, it would be more like either a tribute 
or it would be its own sub-model of the Camaro. I honestly feel like the El Camino would be brought back before the Chevelle just due to the popularity of trucks nowadays. A lot of people consider the El Camino a crossover between a car and a truck. I have always considered it more of a car, but because people are not purchasing cars anymore, they're going for more trucks and SUVs. I feel like the El Camino, because it is a crossover between a car and a truck, people are absolutely going to love it. I feel like they could simply have the front end look like a Camaro and have the back end resemble an El Camino, just have it more like a truck bed and more like a current model vehicle. I think that would look absolutely gorgeous and people would absolutely purchase this if Chevy were to do so. And the last vehicle on this list is gonna be a Cadillac El Dorado, which was discontinued in 2002. Once again, due to car manufacturers like Chevy, Ford, and Dodge discontinuing passenger vehicles, the luxury market for passenger vehicles is going to start to take off because Cadillac, Lincoln, and other luxury car manufacturers are not going to be discontinuing their manufacturers for cars they're gonna be continuing these passenger vehicles. So I feel like a slight edge that Cadillac would have to make these passenger vehicles and to start selling a lot more of them would be to return not only the El Dorado, but other Cadillacs that were once discontinued from the past back up into their passenger car lineup. I think people would absolutely love them to do this. So these are some of the cars that were discontinued from car manufacturers that I would honestly like to see brought back. I was going to include the Chevy Trailblazer, but it is already going to be coming back and making a return in 2021. Chevy already confirmed this, so I didn't want to include it in this vehicle because they're already making a comeback. But because more and more manufacturers are discontinuing passenger vehicles, I feel like since more SUV and trucks that were once discontinued are going to be making returns once again, because we have seen the Ford Ranger, the Ford Bronco, and the Chevy Blazer make returns, and the Trailblazer is confirmed. So I feel like they're going to continue on this pattern right now of bringing back vehicles from the past. They comment down below what discontinued vehicles you would like to see make a return. And I'm going to leave this video here. Please take care. Peace.